full house on hand as washington gets set to tip it off against arizona state the worst loss for washington this year the sun devils gave it to him literally twenty six points down at wells fargo arena in tempe and we're underway the sun devils not real deep but real talented they come in at thirteen and nine washington's at thirteen and seven kenny crandall the freshman batiste this is Alton Mason in the lane to Laser. And Bobby Laser, who drilled Washington for 30 points, he had 32 against him in a game last year. Nice move by, by Mason to pass the three to drive and get the nice dish with easy dunk. McCullough, and it's Batiste who got him. They'll battle down low all night long. A little head fake, and McCullough hits his first shot. You know, I told you before the game, I just have a feeling that Todd's going to have a big game. The other night, uh, Arizona really beat up on him, and he didn't get a lot of shots. Only got six shots. I think he's going to be one of those big 20-plus nights. You talk to both coaching staff, and neither staff has an answer for the big men of the other team. Batiste and Laser give Washington problems, and McCullough gives Arizona State problems. This is Laser. He's got Watts. That's a mismatch. Mason for three. Had a good look at it. I'm surprised that Laser kicked the ball out because they didn't really come to double him hard. Walcott. That'll help. If he gives them any offensive presence, that's going to put pressure on Arizona State. Eddie House. Working against Dion Luton. Batiste, a good sign for the Sun Devils as Batiste hits his first shot. Well, that's what you got to do when you're playing against somebody bigger. You got to step out and face up and shoot the ball, at least fake the shot, and then maybe try to go around the big guy. Donald Watts wide open. He drills it. I think Watts' reemergence, becoming 100%, has allowed Sin Q Carey to make the impact that he has. Well, it's really helped. And, and, and the fact that the other night, you know, everybody is saying, well, the first half against Arizona, they did it. Can they sustain it? And they certainly did. And if they continue to play that way in the perimeter, it's certainly only going to help their interior game. Mason, who has turned into a good point guard, finds Laser in traffic. McCullough got the block. The Laser off balance there. Carey in the lane. The one thing about Sin Q is you must make him pick the basketball up or he will hurt you going to the basket. Washington a four point lead. Almost three minutes of escape first half. Laser against Walcott. Laser is a guy many people think he's a low post guy but he operates very well facing the basket. House misses his first three. Carey up to Luton. I was just going to say House has been awfully quiet and then he took a shot that probably he could get anytime he wants and get a better shot than that. I think both teams need their three point shooters to have big days today. Dion Luton for Washington, Eddie House for Arizona State, and McCullough, who had a double double the last time the two teams played, has four already. And you look at the Husky bench and they're saying all day that's something that they didn't get any of the high low stuff or they didn't get Todd nearly as involved down at Arizona State. This is House. Batiste. McCullough bothered that shot because Batiste couldn't see the basket. Luton! Yeah, he'll get a free throw. I'll tell you, Rob Evans is not happy. He's, not, he's, he's more upset with the officials than he is with his own players right now. Rob Evans and Richard Ballesteros chatted briefly. Arizona State trailing Washington in Seattle. Off the timeout, Dion Luton now with an opportunity for a three-point play. I All five Huskies have scored. Yeah, I don't know if you can get a good camera close-up, but you see that ankle tape on Dion's left ankle. That's not socks, folks. That's an ankle tape all the way up to the middle of his leg. Rob Evans, a chat with his team, not happy. He's got one man in. Jason Patton has entered the ball game, so he's made a lineup change. I don't think it's a chat when there's one guy doing all the talking. Is it? <laughs> no. <laughs> I mean, and he was telling him. Donald Watts 
Deion Luton's first three. And Washington has picked up where they left off Thursday night against Arizona. They are playing with so much confidence in shooting the ball with it, and shooting is confidence. Eddie House, it was blocked. Luton got it. Carey. And Rob Evans wants another timeout. Washington has hit all eight of their shots. In a 14-0 run right now, Charlie Range and Rob Evans. Now that would be termed a chat, Harsh. 18-4, Washington on top of Arizona State. The Sun Devils and the Huskies, and Washington is off to a quick start. Washington in a big way early, 18-4 over Arizona State. The matchup between these two An interesting one nonetheless. Well, I'll tell you what. I think Todd, like I said, is going to have the big day because they can go inside him, but it really helps when, you're in, when your exterior players are shooting the ball as well as they are. You know, right before that, before the timeout, you saw at that timeout, you saw Rob Evans, and, and that was to me more of a lecture because he had that finger out, that index finger, and he was wagging it in Charlie Range's face. You can say what you want about the officials, but your guys better get ready to come to play. House is in traffic, and he's going to get a free throw. Eddie House can do that. He can score from outside, and he's very good inside, even in the height of McCullough. Yeah, fumbles the ball right there, really gets caught in traffic. I don't know who got that foul. I guess it was Deion Luton. You know, Arizona State does not have a rebound to this point. The Huskies out rebounding 6 0. Sun Devils, one of the better free throw shooting teams in the conference, missed their first. Watts, his foot on the line. And Walcott with the offside rebound. He went up and over to get it. Bob Bender can't believe it. You look at the face, and I'm trying to figure out where that one came from. Because he, that was great timing. He had no time to Chris Walcott shove off here. There's the ball. He just goes up over the top. He doesn't push anybody down. Patton goes down on his own. All those calls. Uh, Come after that little uh, lecture from uh, Coach Evans. It's called coaching. That's right. That's right. You got to fight for your ball club. Skip past to Mason. Carey on the miss by Patton. Four rebounds now for McCullough. Luton. He looks like a. Uh, just a completely different player right now. I was going to say that the word to me is a, a confident player. You got to play with confidence or you can't be any good at anything you do. Eddie House. Laser the miss. And it's basket interference. Bobby Laser has yet to get on track. 30 against the Huskies down in 10 feet. Taylor you know, Green is in. You know, Chris Walcott sits down. Patton. Jason Patton is in early, too, and he played 25 minutes. So basically, they're a six man ball club right now with Patton on the floor and Crandall in the bench. It's in Q Carey, a little half court trap. McCullough to Green. He'll get one. Great job by McCullough to find the cutter because they really dropped in his lap that time and he had really had nowhere to go with it. See, the thing, if the Huskies continue to play this way and get to the NCAA tournament, we're going to get a chance to look at this again. Here's the jump inside, but here comes the double team on the outside, and he sees the cutters and makes a nice pass. Is it people who aren't used to playing at somebody as big and is physically strong and is good an offensive player, Todd McCall, 
Huskies will always give, always give them trouble. Carey really sloughing off and leaving Mason wide open. Batiste falling away. Michael Batiste, he's got four now. That was Washington's largest lead. Green to McCullough. Six for McCullough. And I know Rob Evans can't be happy because he hangs his hat on defense, just like Bob Benner does. And he's got nowhere to turn right now because Arizona State does not have a deep bench. They play basically a rotation of seven. On some night six. Laser can shoot the three and he hits that one. You gotta honor him out there. I, I, I'm, I'm watching Carey a lot because he's just sloughing off. When Mason gives the ball up, 10 Q Carey just kind of goes and zones the area, helps out, does whatever he wants on defense. One three one zone now by Arizona State. They had success with it down at 10 feet, and McCullough lost it. So the Huskies get it back. And you can't allow that direct interior pass right there to McCullough. Kenny Crandall, the freshman out of Mesa's back here. Carey steps in and finishes. How about that? What a strong move. Well, I was just going to say, his size and his strength allows him to do some things that other people haven't been able to do. Carey has hit all three of his shots. He's got six. Laser. And Mason takes the shot. He's going to have to do that if they leave him open. It was a two. He was inside the stripe. Thalo Green. McCullough again. They're really not giving Todd much uh, trouble inside right now, and he's got to make those shots. Batiste. And he went down hard. Well, I think McCullough got a piece of that shot from the backside. Watts to Green. Everything clicking right now. That helps. Taylor did not shoot the ball the other, well the other night. I think he was one for five against Arizona. Washington is 13 of 15 from the field. Well, let's find those two guys that missed and get them out of there. Well, I can tell you. McCullough and Watts. I don't think well, for crying out loud. I mean, you know. House the miss. Laser kept it alive. And Arizona State not shooting well from beyond the arc. Bobby Laser was standing over the corner wide open, and Bob Benner almost ran out and guarded him himself. Well, Laser wants the ball. He thinks he's got the mismatch against Green. Great job by Thaler Green to step up and try to take that charge back. Oh, Batiste just wrestled it away from McCullough. House. That was partially blocked. That's twice House has had his shot blocked. Both by Luton. Carry for three. What else can you say? They're playing with confidence with a capital C about 12 feet tall. It all starts right there. St. Q. Carey has hit all four of his shots. Washington is 14 of 16 from the field. This is their biggest lead of the ball game. And it's in real danger of getting out of hand if you're Arizona State. Timeout on the floor. Washington is on a big time roll. And this guard combination of Carey, Watts, and Luton is one reason why. 32-13, halfway through. The obligatory Husky shot out in front of Heck Edmondson Pavilion, which won't look exactly like this the next time. Well, not the next time, but next season and season on. This is the last season the Huskies will play in this building as it stands. Next year, they'll be at the key while this thing is refurbished to just under 10,000 seats. And right now, Washington is playing as if they're already in the tournament. This is very impressive. Mason the drive and he hits a difficult shot. He's got four points out in Mason the sophomore out of Lincoln, Nebraska. Key point difficult shot. Deion Luton could have fouled him but let him go and just try to give him pressure. 
Donald Watts a miss. Chad Pruitt is checked into the Arizona State lineup. So Michael Batiste gets a rest. This is Eddie House. Mason turned that shot down. Crandall had an open look. He didn't shoot it. Arizona State looks very tentative right now offensively. And Greg Clark, who's in the game, has picked up the foul. Well, what happened, Greg actually was doing a pretty good job, but when he turned it on the front move, he did grab a handful of jersey, and I think that was what Richard Belicero saw. Laser, he's got seven. The kid, the transfer from Syracuse. Awfully smooth. He's a good player. And Pruitt with the foul on Green. Arizona State does not have a true center, and so Laser and Batiste, who are basically numbers three and four in the offensive scheme, a big forward, a small forward, whatever you want to call them, Rob Evans has to use those guys as his big men. Todd McCullough getting his first rest. Look at the shooting in the backcourt. Halo Green stolen by Mason, and then fouled by Green. I'm not so sure that wasn't a double dribble because Mason dribbled, knocked the ball loose and dribbled the control and then picked it up and then dribbled it again. They will green the foul for Washington, their 15th foul. I think that's the first Husky turnover. At the 10 minute mark, they had nine assists and no turnovers, which is unbelievable. Bob Bender's team certainly peaking right now. They've won six of seven. They've won 13 straight in Seattle, nine and zero at home this year. That includes one game at the Key. Mason drills a three, and Arizona State trying to climb back in this thing. They draw within 12 now at 32-20. Watts, House got a big piece of it, and threw it with the loose ball. Green almost tipped that thing in. Like I said, the reason that Mason is open because Kerry is really helping out on the ball. Lob pass laser. He plays well inside as well. He Bobby Laser's good. got nine. You know, he's, he's stronger than he looks. He's got Greg Clark at 6'6", six, six, trying to check a 6'9 guy. And right now, with Todd McCall out of there, there's really no presence in the lineup inside for the Huskies. Kerry gets away from Mason. Laser on the break. Arizona State has numbers. Mason with a nice move and a finish. Boy, I tell you what, he made a great crossover move and really put the afterburners on there. I think and the Huskies won a 20-second time. I think Mason overheard you talking about him because all of a sudden he's ripped off nine points and he's changed the fortune of Rob Evans' team in a hurry. Well, a couple things have happened. They've gone back and knocked a few balls loose, but the other thing is you see him here at the end of the break. Watch this little fake right here. Now, quick crossover and see Carey thought maybe he was going to give the ball, but never got it. Front of him. But what I was going to say is, there's a ground level one. Not a bad shot. It's a pretty good shot, really, by the Huskies. Here's the play right there. From that angle, you can really see him. Nice little hesitation, shake and bake. But what I was going to say in the half court, what happens when Mason has the ball and he gives it up, and since you carry is kind of, he's the off guy. He's a designated helper. So he's gone and helped. So what happens is they swing the ball, being the Sun Devils swing the ball back quickly, and Mason's had a lot of open looks. Tom McCullough back in. Rob Evans has stayed with this five-man rotation. And has helped them climb back in, although that's a relative term. They're down eight. They have better than 19. Yeah, they were down 19 just a moment ago. Inside, Pruitt and McCullough were locked up. But you know, see, now that's not a bad move for Aaron Oklahoma State because they got a freshman, and that's what he does. He's big and strong and physical. They told him, you go in there and beat up on Todd McCullough, Try to tire him out, and then we'll get the other guys back in there. Bobby Laser, in his short stay in Tempe, has had a lot of success against Washington. It's continuing tonight. Washington on top. Washington 32, Arizona State 24. Coming up on Prime Sports, Nets, UCLA, and Stanford. Steve Lavin has cooled down after that. that Amazing display last weekend. Stanford, of course, went out and burnt it up today against UConn. Did not look good. I, I thought they'd get him on their home court. Hey, Arizona State's five for the last five. They were shooting 33%, and now they're up to almost 48%. 
Arizona State came out of that timeout. A little trap, not 2 3 zone. It's a little change up defensively. Johnson. Michael misses his first three. See, it's not that it's a bad shot, but maybe not the shot the guy you want shooting it because he just came in the ball game. So Batiste back in for Arizona State. House. Eddie House can do that. Great first step quickness. Hey, Rich, it's a ball game. Uh, it's, uh, it's a six-point ball game, Harsh. Uh, you know, I didn't say that anything earlier, but I mean, coach's worst nightmare. Look at them go back and double McCullough. They're doing a much better job. Watts. Washington all of a sudden isn't shooting well. And Clark. You know what? Right there, Rob Evans says, you know, we make them take a bad shot. We double them down. They kick it out. Watt takes a bad shot, and then we allow the guy to get the offensive board. That kills it. You, know, you were talking about defense. Rob Evans and his staff were in the SEC the last six years, and in talking to his staff, the one difference they feel from the SEC to the Pac-10 is that every team in the SEC is a much tougher defensive team than you find in the Pac-10. They think there are more skilled players in the Pac-10, and Clark just hit a free throw, which is breaking news. You see the way he shot it? Yeah, he shot a jump shot. But the SEC Don't try that, that at home, boys and girls. The SEC that staff felt the biggest difference, defense. The skill they feel is better in the West in the Pac-10 conference, but the defensive intensity is probably better they feel in the SEC. Clark shooting 100% with the jump from the jump shot. We should keep the staff. 42% coming in before those two free throws. <laughs> Now let's see what the Sun Devils do out of the timeout. Laser against Clark. Bobby Laser missed the shot. McCullough is fifth. Pretty good decision by Carey there to pull it out. Luton put on the line. It's a two. Carey does a good job of finding the open people. Luton has 10 to lead Washington. And suddenly the lead's back up to 10. You know, what you've got to do is you've got to find the man with the ball, but you also got to find the shooters right away. Nobody found Deion Luton. House. Laser the miss. That was a laser-like crossover from House there. Luton almost turned it over. McCullough, when he gets in that deep, is almost automatic. He's got eight. I believe one of the ways to play Todd is when he does put the ball on the floor, then you got to go back and attack him. You can't do it before he does put the ball on the floor. And that time, the Sun Devils had nobody else in the vicinity to help Batiste out. Batiste right by him. And that's the difference. You just saw what both coaches are concerned about. Arizona State can't stop McCullough's size. Washington can't stop the speed of Laser and Batiste. Although that time, Batiste did stop the height. It's a held ball initiated by the defense. It's an Arizona State possession. And I like the rule, but one of the few times where Todd McCullough turns and shoots the ball into the defense this time. See, there's the president. And Batiste really got up well, played him right, and there's Laser over the top. McCullough, so far tonight, eight points and three rebounds. Kenny Crandall back in for the Sun Devils, as is Chad Pruitt, the young freshman. Mason. Pruitt hits the jumper. There's That's added bonus plus. points. That's a big plus. You know, Bobby Laser on the bench. I don't believe that, that, that the Sun Devils can have him out of the lineup that long. Luton. It's a three. Really nice ball movement from the left side down to the post, back to the point, to the right corner. That's exactly the way the ball's got to move. And the thing that I like is Michael Johnson didn't put it on the floor. He just swung it to the open man. Deion Luton is five of five. A good look for Kenny Crandall, who hits a three. Looks like a game of horse out here. A game of three-point horse. It's amazing that Washington had a 19-point lead at this point. And they, for all intents and purposes, Washington came out made just about every one of their shots and looked like they were going to run away with this thing. Carry. One of the few things you need to guard against when you're a coach, you want to be your half 
happy that you get a big lead, but you go, you know, you still, in the back of your mind, you go, oh my God, I hope he can pull it. Nice jump, dump in that time to McCall. But what he did, he did a great job of holding the defense off with the off arm. He's five of six from the field. Washington still 18 of 26. That's as many shots as McCall got all the other night against uh, Arizona. Threw it to Mason. Crandall with the foul on Karen. 16 foul. 316 left first half. 43 33. And a timeout on the floor. Todd McCullough. And the Washington Huskies looking for their 14th win of the season. And on top early. Washington on top of Arizona State. Little Pac-10 basketball, USC and Stanford live at three o'clock next Saturday. Henry Bibby and the Trojans, and Stanford trying to rebound from the loss to UConn. Stanford could not hit a free throw to, to save their lives, and basically that's why they lost that game today. They were down by 20 in the first half, Harsh, to UConn, who was playing without Hamilton. Very surprising. I thought that they would be very physical and go inside and really hurt uh, Connecticut. Nick Bosco really just played well for Connecticut, too, as well as their guards. Craig Clark the miss. Bobby Lillis with a rebound. House in traffic to Mason. And Arizona State off the timeout with a bucket. It's an eight point ball game. Mason's got 11. He only averages seven a game. Watts is playing with two fouls. Well, when they give you certain shots, you got to take them. Todd McCullough and a little display of emotion by the big Canuck. He's got 12. He says, in your face, eh? Nice look here. Hold off the freshman. Bounce, get his balance, turn. He does it as well as anybody in college. Keeps the ball up high. That's nice to see because Todd is not shooting the ball well from the free throw line at 62%. In Pac-10 conference play, though, he's up near 70. So somehow, some way, he got it together once the conference started. 13 points now for McCullough. It can stay a Sun Devil ball. 218 left, first half. The nice thing if you're a good ball club and the Huskies are becoming a good, very good ball club is that you, you can help sustain. Offensive foul, I think Eddie House on a moving screen. They got him. You know, it's right. I'm smiling because you see a lot of those screens set by a lot of players on the floor, but they got him that time because it was right out in the open. What I, what I was going to say is that, is that uh, the Huskies have done a good job of, of upping their play, you know, right now as, as they get to the stretch one knowing that hey we're on three guys coming out of the gate but we're better than an on three team Clark starting to play that like you know like everybody thought they could at the beginning of the year Clark and his jump shooting free throws now one of three McCullough another rebound Luton to Johnson he couldn't hold it and he falls out of bounds Richie Ballesteros on the spot all the referees in the baseline crowd uh, didn't agree with him. Charlie Range, Milt Stone, completing the uh, officiating trio tonight. 46-35 Washington. And you got Charlie and Richie out there. You've got a veteran crew. House really has not been the impact that he has throughout the season here tonight. McCullough with another rebound. Deion Luton, the spin, the follow by Clark. Nice job by Deion. Anytime you get in a one-on-one -on -one spread court situation, you got to try to score. Although he didn't, he got the ball from the board and allowed Clark to, to get to the offensive glass. So one thing that transition, the Huskies are doing much better. They're leaking out the weak side man if he's not involved in the rebound. Mason to laser. I think McCullough got away with one. He bumped laser pretty good on his way to the bucket. And this one's going against Crandall. Arizona State. Second personal on Crandall. Coming up at the half. Dave and I will, will be here. Although that's not the top of the list. Todd McCullough will take a look at Big Mac. 
obviously look at the Pac-10. Two games complete. One a conference game, Arizona and Washington State, and of course Stanford and UConn, a non-conference show. And we'll have stats and highlights. And the usual stuff. There's a reason we're not at the top of the list, Mark. Don't tell me, I'm, I'm fragile this evening. Laser, working against Clark. McCullough, rebound number six. Luton to Johnson. Oh! And they got Laser for the foul after the, after the basket. Little play by Dion, not known for his passing. And there's the foul afterwards. Later, just a step late getting there. It's a big play with 50 seconds to go, a 15 point lead now by the dogs. He's got a chance to go to 16. And now Laser with his second. Batiste has got two. House has got two. McCullough steps out of the ballgame for now. Every time, good substitute. Every time the Arizona State has made a run, the Huskies advances. Johnson missed the free throw. House has the loose ball. Johnson's missed two free throws because he's backing off the line instead of staying on it. House in the lane. Bullitt was not ready for the pass. That's an Arizona State. No, they'll stay with the Sun Devils. As of 3.15 to go in the game, Arizona State only had one turnover to nine assists. The Huskies, 13 assists to two turnovers. So a well-played first half of basketball. Shot clock is down at 15. Laser against Clark. For Patton, and Jason Patton with his first bucket of the ball game. And now Washington. Remember, the clock doesn't stop inside a minute at the end of the first half. So the Huskies have got to get the ball down the floor. Johnson for Thalo Green. Laser, got to get it off. And a little too strong. Todd McCullough, 13 points, six rebounds. He led Washington. Dion Luton, he had 13. Five of six from the field. And even Michael Johnson got into it. Washington up big at half. Welcome back inside Heckin. Washington on top by a substantial margin, 13, though they had a 19-point lead early on in the first half. Original starting five, Sinq Carey, Donald Watts, Deion Luton, Chris Walcott, and of course, Todd McCullough. I like it because they come right out and go right inside Adam to establish Todd. Eddie House, Kenny Crandall, Alton Mason, Mike Batiste, Bobby Laser, and that's Batiste. They really could use the Sun Devils could. A big half from Batiste. Well, he had five shots, three for five the first half, so he just needs to get looks. House had just four, Batiste had just six. Laser had nine. <laughs> Carey. Walcott for three. And Batiste with the rebound. Some shots you need to pass up. <laughs> and some passes you need to shoot house see i don't understand why house doesn't take the wide open shot instead of putting it on the floor and taking it to the defense you got to do that don't take it to the big guys watch technical difficulties and a timeout i think laser has called the timeout bob bender felt he was on the uh, baseline here are your numbers when you shoot 66%, you're going to lead a lot of people at the half. 66, three for four from, from three-point range also. You look at the rebounds, you look at the assists. 15 assists to three turnovers for the Dogs. For the Sun Devils, 11 assists, only two turnovers. A well-played first half. 
One thing that kind of jumps out at me, I think if you're Arizona State, you'd like to shoot more than one free throw and a half, though. Washington's 50 points is their best output and at halftime this year. Yeah, and the most given up by Arizona State in a half. Rob Evans, the first year coach, six years at Ole Miss, longtime assistant. Texas Tech, Oklahoma State, Ole Miss. He played for Ralph Tasker, Hobbs High School in Hobbs, New Mexico. Run and press. For people up here in the Northwest who don't know, they average about 100 points a game. Ralph Tasker, one of the great high school coaches of all time in terms of wins, longevity. He's got 1,000, I believe, 1,000 high school wins. Batiste Short, Walcott. Now, Batiste can shoot the three, but somewhat ill-advised. I'd say 17 feet and in, that's where you want him. McCullough is fouled. If it's Batiste, it's number three. You gotta leave him in, it doesn't matter. Arizona State really doesn't have an, an answer if the piece goes out. And they obviously don't have an answer for that. I was gonna say, he has the answer. Catch it, shoot it, count it. 22 and 10, 22 points, 10 rebounds at Arizona State. He's at 17 points and six rebounds right now. One thing that I that maybe we should look up is what Todd has averaged over Arizona State over his career, both points and rebounds, because it's huge. Batiste, the baseline jumper, he's got 10. Well, he had monster games against Arizona State last year. Walcott in low. And McCullough bounced it off a foot, and it obviously was his. You know, Bob, Bob Bender's telling since you carry, go get the ball and get and swing the thing, and we're getting stagnant all of a sudden. But what happened is, is, is you see Bob there, is that uh, uh, Chris Walcott tried to make something happen by and, and entered the ball properly. It's just that uh, Todd bounced it off his foot. Harsh, I've got those numbers. I've been working on them for you. Got it, babe. All right. We'll get them in a moment. Laser against Walcott. I know you've got that computer up there. A little computer in your mind. <laughs> yeah, right. Batiste. Impressive oh, shot. God. And he'll get a free throw as well. Batiste has got 12. He's hit three shots here in the second half. Now, when I work with kids, I tell them to get the ball up high off the board, but maybe not necessarily that high. Does a good job of getting his balance, making contact with Todd, falling away, kissing the glass. And Batiste, 13 now. Arizona State down 13 at the half. It's close to 10 and a foul on, I think, Eddie House. That's his it is. third. And an Arizona State team that's not very deep is in foul trouble. We're going to get a chance to take a look at this play. Oh, yeah, he just grabs Donald. Well, I, I, I'll, tell you, I'll tell you what. Now, they called him for the grab, which he did, but Donald kind of shook him off in a rather aggressive manner. Threw an elbow and hit him in the Yeah, I, well, I was trying to be forthright about it. <laughs> that should be it. Uh, it's a block. Richard Ballesteros on the call. Laser on the floor. And if it's Bobby Laser, it's his third. And so now House, Batista, and Laser all have three. The reason the, call is fo the foul is called there is because Laser never actually got over in front of him. He kind of was on the side that time. And the, the Sun Devils with three are the big three. And that's one too many steps in a jump step. It didn't look too bad. I, you know, I was watching the turn watch the other play, but it looked like he came to a jump stop and then took a step with his off foot, which is, a, which is, you know, when you do a jump stop, you either foot's the pivot foot. Batiste in on McCullough, and McCullough will pick up the foul. Well, right now it looks like Arizona State's trying to get 
Batiste to take the ball right at Todd McCullough, and he's succeeding to either scoring and drawing the foul or just drawing the foul. We had a quick look at Slick there. Not real pleased. A quick Slick. Batiste gets two, misses the first. Look like Mark Mark Madsen today from from uh, oh, that was brutal because he's a good free throw shooter. I mean he shot an air ball one time. And Stanford, I think they were 12 to 25 from the line, and a half a dozen of those misses were front ends of one and ones. That was a, a brutal display. And if Stanford shoots 60 to 65 percent from the free throw line, they win the game hard. Sure. Because it was a four point game going into the final minute and a half, and Stanford had to foul, and that's how you got to the final. I think it was an 11 point uh, win when it was said and done by UConn. Send Q carry for three. That'll cure you real quickly. And suddenly Washington back up 12. You know, it's, it's interesting, but T seems to be the center of the offense this half, but Laser has gotten very few looks, and neither has House. But that's why right there is that Teeth knocks it down. They give him a two or a three. He's got nine points in the second half. But Teeth now seven of ten from the field. Watts on the drive, and the miss, but McCullough, who's got 19 now. Now you're going to give him an assist on that? I think he gets a rebound on that, doesn't he? Does McCullough get a rebound? Or he they should. Have, they should. Thank you very much. Mason for three. Yes. Alton Mason, who had 11 in the first half, his first points of the second half. Arizona State just won't go away. Five minutes in, second half. Walcott wide open. You can't stop him. No. You can't contain him. No. He's got 21 now. And you can't go up there and club him because you've got three fouls. And you they need you in the ballgame if you're Mike Batiste. Or Bobby Laser. Laser. Laser wants it against McCullen. House. Shot clock running down. House. Another rebound for McCullough. Eight on the game. Luton. Bang! Dion Luton has hit all three of his three pointers. Back to 14. Great little hesitation move off the pick and roll that time. Eddie House has just six. He's the second leading scorer in the conference at 20 a game. Deion Luton, not that he's become the forgotten man, but kind of the silent assassin in the three guard offense for the Huskies. And Luton's been the guy checking House. Watts nestles in a three. He hasn't scored much tonight, but he's done a lot of little things. He really has. I think he's only two for seven from the floor, but rebounded and distributed the ball well. He's got six assists. A turnover. Arizona State will get it back, but Washington has stretched the lead. 67-52. Alton Mason trying to shoot Arizona State back in it. But Deion Luton is hot again tonight. Arizona State, every time they make a run, Washington has had an answer. Seven minutes in, second half here on Fox Sports Northwest. The last word, midnight weeknights. Jim Rome and a cavalcade of stars. Weeknights on Fox Sports Net. Ron Dubois has checked into the game for Arizona State. His first action at the point guard spot. 78 percent. 
for the Huskies to this point, seven for nine from the floor. That includes three for three from three-point range in this half. Eddie House. The drive by Patton. Green. So McCullough is on the bench. But the trio of House, Laser, and Batiste are still out there for Arizona State. Watts is clobbered by Patton. And Donald Watts is going to the line. And he'll get free throws. Well, not a bad play by Donald, but I kind of kind of thought he didn't attack the basket, kind of nonchalant on the way he went to the basket on this play right here. Nice little backdoor cut. Used the basket to help shield from the defender, drew the foul. He's got just the five points, six assists, four rebounds. <laughs> And to quote a, a new Fox employee, a G from the free throw line. <laughs> Better than an air ball. Yeah, and he hits the next one. 16 point ball game. House by Luton with the left. And Green the foul. House had to be real careful. He's got the three fouls. Well, he made a heck of an athletic play to slide. Get around his man, plant the baseline foot, slide back to the other side, shift the ball to the left hand. Luton tried to get there to take the charge. Luton has got two fouls. House now with seven. It's really tough to try to battle back when you're down and the ball, you're not shooting the ball, you're not shooting the bat in this half. But there's only three team fouls on Washington, which you now got to do if you're Arizona State, keep attacking, try to get into the bonus quicker. Rob Evans, whose Sun Devils laid a 26 point beating on the Huskies down in Tempe early in the season. Thank you, Karen. By House. He traveled with it. And then remember, though, the Arizona State went to Corvallis and lost by 30. Bob Bender is pleading his case. Richie Ballesteros has heard a lot in his years and shakes his head no way. 68-54, Washington. Welcome back, Heck Edmondson Pavilion in Seattle, campus of the University of Washington. Rich Waltz along with Dave Harshman, Washington 68, Arizona State 54. Eight minutes in, second half. Washington has shot incredibly in the ball game, 68%. And Arizona State has climbed back in on a couple of occasions. But a flurry of three pointers and Todd McCullough buckets has distanced the Huskies from the Sun Devils once again. Taylor Green on the dive. And it's a Washington foul. <coughs> Todd taking a little respite on the uh, bench over there. He's only 10 for 11 from the floor. So he's uh, having a uh, Todd McCullough type day. And I've, next time he's in, Harsh, and we get a chance, I've got those numbers waiting for you. All the precincts are in. Batiste. Patton way up for the rebound. Needs two rebounds for another double double. Deion Luton's got Ron Dubois following him all over the floor. Dubois is only about 5'9", and that's a hold before the shot. Dubois had a nice game against Washington down at Arizona State. Yes, he did. He handled it, came in. I mean, he looks like he looks like a guy we, we were talking about, a guy who just came out of the intramural gym. Took good care of the basketball, made uh, what he had, a half a dozen assists, something like that. He's a guy that Bob Bender would like, a walk-on that earned a scholarship. Fresh shot clock for Washington. 15 foul on Arizona State. Washington's got 14 fouls. Dubois' first personal. Carey working against House. Watts! Laser with a rebound. 
That's the way you want to see him go to the basket. Batiste, he really is stroking it tonight. He feels it. Batiste has got 17 now. Eight for 11. Actually, 18. Twelve point ball game. Watts against Patton. I think Donald's doing a little too much one on one right now, and it's a nice job by Patton yep. to tie him up. It's an Arizona State possession. Well, what happens, whether it's Donald or anybody else, but when you put the ball on the floor and you kind of jig and jag around, is everybody else in your team has a tendency to stand. They don't know, what to do. should I go to the ball? Should I go here? What should I do? Tom McCullough checking in. And Thalo Green will stay in. So Washington's going to go big here with McCullough, Green, and Clark carrying Luton in the backcourt. I think you're going to see him distribute the ball better. Chad Pruitt is in the ballgame for Arizona State with House. Also, Mason's back in. Laser. Batiste sits down. Laser, House, and Batiste have been playing with three fouls for about seven or eight minutes now. Mason to Pruitt. Clark with a foul. Nice penetration right there. There's a, there's a little touch foul. Pruitt really didn't know what he was going to do with the basketball. He said he was just lucky to catch the darn thing. That was one of those fouls that sounded worse than it looked. You could hear it all the way here at the table. Pruitt gets one more. Freshman out of Phoenix. Eleven point Washington lead. Cherry had nine in the first half. He's got twelve in the ball game. It was tipped by House. It'll stay a Washington ball. I, I don't know about you, Rich, but you know I, I have the feeling personally that, that, that Washington is in control and very comfortable. But should they stub their toe for a minute or two, you're going to see Arizona State make a good run at them. The one thing Arizona State has going for them is they've got three guys who can go off and get them back in in a hurry. Laser, who just passed it, House, who has it right now, and Batiste, who's on the bench. They're all capable of going for 30 on any given night. House has struggled the most out of the three, and he's struggling again. Carey will get the foul, and that's that really bailed Arizona State out. Well, that really did it. It almost was the same exactly what happened to Donald Watson the other end. Is that one guy puts the ball on the floor and fools around with it too much rather than passing and making a cut. Carey actually in a pretty good defensive position. No free throws. Team foul six, but it does give Arizona State fresh shot clock. Mason, boy, Ch Chan Pruitt has been surprised by just about every pass that's gone his way. House. And Pruitt will get that foul. Actually, it will be Patton, Jason Patton, who will pick up the foul. Yeah, through it better be ready better start when you got a young guy like him what you tell him is that you I want you to play the whole practice like this it's good keep your hands up because somebody's gonna throw you the ball and they're gonna hit you right in the mouth it's been about three or four times now where a point guard be it Mason or house has penetrated been double teamed and Pruitt's been surprised this is Luton great look up the floor by Kerry and Luton really ran the ball ran the court well Deion Luton's got 18 Back to a 13 point Washington lead. Laser against Green. Crandall hits the three. He's got six in the game. You haven't heard a lot from him. That's his second three. 10 point ball game. Eight minutes left. Washington 
trying to win their seventh of eight, their fifth in a row, and run their record of 14 and seven. Arizona State trying to continue their improbable march towards the tournament. They've got 13 wins. We both know we've talked about how big next week in the Oregon schools are for the Huskies. But I'm telling you, I really believe the way they're playing right now, they're going to get at least a split on the road. And they will come home and they will beat Stanford here. I'm making that prediction right now. McCullough is going to the line. Sin Q carries this down. All right, Harsh, here are the McCullough numbers against Arizona State. Last year, 30 points, 21 rebounds, 26 points, 17 rebounds in two games. His sophomore season, 16.13 rebound effort, a 14.6 rebound effort, and his freshman year against Arizona State on this floor, 22 points, 20 rebounds. He had to be, uh, he, he had to be playing uh, against these guys more than twice a year. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> but they could schedule a non-conference game. <laughs> Earlier this year, he had 20 points and 10 rebounds against them. But he makes one of two there. 22 points here tonight. He's a rebound shy of his 37th career double-double. Batista's back in, and they go right to him, and he's stripped. Clark. side cut. 20 for Gian Luton. Eddie House on the move. McCullough's got his double double. Luton's got a dunk. And not a good choice by Eddie House on the offensive end. And it leads to an easy breakout and a nice, great over the top pass by Todd McCullough. Todd McCullough with his second assist. Zion Luton's got 22, as does McCullough. Another double double. Gets a piece of it. There's the pass over the top. Here's the Greyhound ahead of the pass. You know, one thing stood out at me today, Harsh, when I was watching the Stanford game, three years ago, when we saw Todd McCullough and we saw Tim Young, I think neither you or I thought that McCullough would be the better player when they got to their senior year. But McCullough is by far a better player than Tim Young is right now. Well, I look at it this way. He's much more efficient in what he does on the floor with the gifts that he have. I think Tim, Tim Young is, a, is, is more athletic in many, many respects than Todd. But in playing in a, in, a, in a system where they don't necessarily have to go to him, but Todd is the guy that uh, he really has that made, made great improvements on, in all phases. I mean, you know, shot blocking, he may get beat once in a while, you know, but you know, he stays with people because he blocks a lot of shots from behind, always has had great hands, kept the ball up high, but his total game has come a long way. And I agree with a lot what Bob said at halftime is the fact that his best years may be ahead of him. Somebody needs to take a shot at the guy because he can score. And that's all about post play in the NBA. We're talking to the Arizona State, State coaches. They felt the difference between McCullough and Young, patience and hands. Bob Evans and his assistants were saying that McCullough is just so patient that he doesn't panic when he's in the low post. And he does have great hands. with the free throws. Arizona State back down by 13. Dion Luton putting on a show tonight. Full court pressure. Johnson, Clark, Green. Bobby Lazor did not like that call. But you know what? Bobby Lazor never got over and completely in front of Lalo Green either. Fourth personal on Laser. That added to his iron. Coming out of that timeout, how about the new numbers? 10 for 13 this half for the Huskies for 77%. And Kerry, Luton, and McCullough, 24 for 27. Not 
bad. The rest of the team, seven for 18. Luton's probably the most impressive there at nine for 10 because he shoots the ball from far out. Three for three from three point range. Patton with the rebound. They will green the miss. Washington's big kids, Green, Clark, do not shoot free throws well or are not having a good free throw shooting season. Mason Come on, in traffic missed the layup. Good defensive pressure by the backside. I, I, I couldn't tell who it was. The steal by Patton with Watts. Jason Patton's got six. Yeah, smart play by Patton. It looked like he was going to try to go down and dunk it, but then Watts got back, so he just laid her off the glass. Does Arizona State have another run in him? Well, I would say maybe, but here comes Todd McCall since she carried back in the game. And when Michael Johnson makes reverse lands like that, I'd say the Huskies are in pretty good shape. Oh, but there is a long way around the track, 439, or excuse me, 539. Batiste, bang, take that. Michael Batiste with a cool 20 tonight. He's 9 of 13 from the field. I don't believe Bobby Laver has scored this half, has he? Nope. Nine points at the break. Pretty good recall for an old guy, huh? Green stolen by Batiste. Two nice stops by Arizona State on defense. Lob pass. Hello, Harsh. I guess I should have brought that up. <laughs> 11 that's 10 point game. And a timeout, a 20-second timeout. Rob Evans is upset because the whistle blew when the ball was in the air. Yeah, I was going to say, Eddie House saying the same thing to Richard Bellister, so I think they call a timeout when nobody has possession. And Rob Evans is asking the same question right now. You know what? He's not going to change the mind. I, I like Rob Evans. Well, I do too, but you know what? Right there, and, and, I, and I don't mean to be critical, here's the pass with a top nice look from, from uh, Mason. But he spent the whole 20-second timeout talking to the officials instead of getting in there and maybe organizing your basketball team. Rob Evans has had, according to most publications, the best recruiting class in the Pac-10 this year, 13th nationally. And they're only down 10. Perry working against House. Yeah, Dubois back in the game too, which is surprising. He's a pesky little guy. Well, yeah, but he's not big enough to check Deion Luton. I'll tell you that right now. Well, no one in Arizona State's been able to check Luton today. Deion has done a lot of damage, 22 points. Husky's taking a little time off the clock, but now here we go one-on-one -on -one again. Find the open man, there he is. Luton, a fine defensive effort by Dubois. Actually, it was an open you had, look. You had to get that <laughs> in, didn't you? <laughs> Batiste, Laser could have very easily picked up his fifth there. McCullough, another rebound. 22 points, 11 rebounds for McCullough. Huskies may have dodged the ball right then. That would have brought him to eight. See how much Laser, how much room Laser's given Chris Wolcott. Luton. Dubois gets the foul. Dubois goes, how come I get the foul? I'm the little guy. I'm getting beat up out here. But he gives out Mason a chance to catch his breath, and Mason's right back in. Luton shoots one and one. And one. Maybe more importantly, that's the ninth team foul on Arizona State, so Huskies are shooting double bonus from here on out. Nine of 11 from the field. And now four of five from the line. I would say the stroke is back for Deion Luke. Michael Batiste trying to get the Sun Devils back in it. Arizona State trailing 80 to 68 in Seattle. Huskies by a dozen, a little under four minutes left. 
the trio of Sun Devils who hurt Washington down in Tempe on the 7th of January. Only Mike Batiste has been able to duplicate that. Eddie House has struggled, had just four in the first half. That laser lay-in were his first two points of the second half. And now Arizona State down 12 with a real bounce in their step. House, Batiste, yes! Michael Batiste has got 23. His first three of the ball game. It's a nine point game. Pretty opportune time to come up with it too. Walcott. McCullough. Nice job by Todd not to force it that time. Shot clock is down to five. And Watts hits a good shot. I'll tell you what, if the coach has one of those, no, and happy that it goes in. McDonald really over controlled the ball that time. But he's short on the three, got his rebound. Finds House, should have shot it. Laser will. And hits a three. And he can. And Arizona State is down eight. Rob Evans coaching him up with two and a half left. And you can't trade two for three very often and expect to stay on top. How big is that watch shot right now? Huge. Walcott, that's one of those where the coach says, no, no, you no. You can't do it, but see, that's, there's a reason. Wally's got to understand there's a reason he's left open to shoot that ball. Patton with the left hand, and hello, Arizona State. Since you carry, tried to take the charge on Michael Batiste. Sun Devils are down six. Well, the clock stops. A long, a long way around the track, Richard. Fresh shot clock on the foul. Jason Patton's got three. And Donald's got two. Yeah. He's one of three from the line. Kenny Crandall is a very good three-point shooter. Back into the ball game. Bob Banner uh, saying something to Richie Ballesteros. I think it was, he thought there was movement on the lane after they handed the ball to Donald. I'm not sure. Watch it's one of two. Which is better than none, but I'll tell you what, you can't give up a three right now. Seven-point ball game. You don't necessarily need a three, though. No, I know you don't, but you know if they get a wide open look, they will take it. Laser penetrates, foul. He'll get a free throw. Now that's one of those plays, and, and I don't care who it is. I'm, I, I say, if you're an offensive player and you cause the off the contact, it's got to be an offensive foul. Here's the penetration right here. Here's the dish. Here's Laser coming around, trying to turn the corner right now on Wolfcott right there. Now, see, he jumps yeah, forward. Donald left his feet, though. Donald did leave his feet. Didn't see that for the first one. The rule says, you know, you can leave your feet as long as you're in front of the guy, but he jumped towards him. You're right. Laser hits a free throw. It's a six-point game with 143 left. Hatton, right back in. Laser. You know, Laser is shooting down this year. He's just a, just under 50%. Last year, he was just under 56% from the floor. He's a good free throw Great shooter. Great free throw shooter. 75% coming in. 16 points now for Laser. I got to think he's going to get a look next year. Oh, the steal. Did he get the timeout yet? No, he didn't. Oh, Patton thought he had the timeout. So did Rob Evans. But what happened is he didn't have control of the basketball. I think that's why they didn't give it to him. Here's a look. Oh, I don't know, Harsh. I think he had control. I think that's a break for Washington. 
carry. Much better ball movement right now. Foul by Patton, they're gonna send Watts to the line. But see, if you're Washington, you don't want the clock to stop. You want the clock to keep moving, especially if, after you've been to the line and you just missed a couple free throws. Fourth foul on Patton. Amazingly, Batiste, Laser, and House have stayed in the ball game despite foul trouble early in the second half. And Bob Bender's having to hold on tight for this one. Only Laser has picked up his fourth of that trio. Slick and clean. Slick saying, we're going to go out back and we're going to shoot free throws until midnight if we don't make these. So Watts makes one of two, and now Arizona State with a minute and a half left, down six. Batiste. The miss by Mason. Carry the rebound. Almost threw it away. You know, one thing, not that Mason is a bad shooter, but if, I, I believe it's a, it's, a, it's a rookie mistake or a young guy's mistake. It makes one more pass. House is wide open, too, and he's the better shooter. Minute 12 left. Patton comes back in for Play, the defense. Crandall yep. sits down. Playing offense, defense. There's your reset. Arizona State has the possession arrow. Both teams can stop the clock. Team fouls, double bonus when Washington goes to the line. They're going there now. Deion Luton, and that's it for Patton. It's his fifth personal. But Rob Evans would rather see Patton leave the ball game than Laser, Batista, or House. Patton off the bench, eight points. Luton's and three been rebounds. Three times, made all three of them. So he hasn't missed much tonight. No, he has not. Kenny Crandall getting a last minute uh, chat from Rob Evans. And he'll come right back in. A 19 point lead early in the first half. Washington had stretched it to 16 here in the second half, but Arizona State has made a run. He knew that he knew it and missed it when he, you know what he did? Arched his back. Everything's short. When you, late in the game, you need more legs and more lift into your shot. Got that one to roll in. 25 now for Luton. And now Arizona State almost does need a three, though. Mason's going to take it down low. Batiste lost it, and it's a turnover. You know what? He was looking for, to rebound the ball because he thought it was going to be shot. He was not expecting the pass. Walcott, Terry. Nice job by Walcott to come to the basketball. That's what's so important. On an inbounds play is you got to go directly to the ball. You can't go to the corner. Walcott playing with those eight stitches in his noggin from the UCLA game. Mason's first personal. Carey is yet to shoot a free throw tonight. <laughs> One minute left. Eight point game. He doesn't play like a freshman. At least he hasn't once the Pac-10 conference started. With the 22nd timeout for Washington. If you've just joined us, Dion Luton and Todd McCullough have had big nights. 25 for Luton. McCullough, 22 points and 11 rebounds. Arizona State slept walks through the first half of this one. Came to life in the second half. Led by Michael Batiste and his 23 points. Bobby Lazer's got 16. Eddie House, a very quiet night for Rob Evans. He has just eight. Arizona State got a win on Thursday in Pullman. Washington, of course, beat Arizona, who just snuck by Washington State earlier today.
by two points. You know, Arizona State still with only three turnovers for the whole ball game and 17 assists. You know, Huskies now to 12 turnovers. Having trouble against the press a little. Mason. Crandall for three. Uh-uh. House the rebound. He'll take the three with Walcott in his face. Laser Batiste. Clock stops with the main bucket. And Crandall gets the timeout. Well, that was a heck of a play. <laughs> that really was a heck of a play. You know, there's always a question. It's, I think it may be a full timeout. It is. You don't necessarily have to make the T sign. You just have to yell time out. Right. And that's what Crandall did. A seven point lead as we go bye bye. Washington leads Arizona State, though the Sun Devils have the ball with 39 seconds left. Washington has shot the ball exceptionally well tonight, 67%. Todd McCullough, decent night, 22 and 11, but he's also got two blocks, as does Deion Luton. They'll have to reset the shot clock by one second. The ball was kicked. Although, more time elapsed off the game clock than it did off the shot clock. And they put two seconds back on the game clock. Not that the shot clock matters any, but it's a way to gauge how much time left. And Arizona State turns it over again. But Washington isn't done real well against the press. Yeah, did a good job of making Arizona State throw the ball to the outside of the floor and it tipped off their hands. He had two guys in the same area. Carry is found by House, who had one to give. There's a big turnover, a huge turnover. That should be knocks these two down. And again, double bonus for the Huskies. Takes a lot of pressure off you if you know you're going to automatically get two shots, not just one, and you got to make it to get the second. No, he's not. Sin Q Carry. 15 points. Washington is 7 and 2 and it looks like about to go 8 and 2 with Carey as the starting point guard and undefeated at home. They will have won if they get this one. 14 straight in this city. It'll stay in Arizona State ball. And doing it with a pretty short bench. Batiste got the three. Although there's 25 seconds left, and Carey's going back to the line, and Laser has fouled out. You know, that's, that's a sign of a good ball player, because you know that you got a foul right away, and you can't worry about whether you've got four fouls or one foul. With that three, Batiste has now got 28. I like Bobby Laser. I like his game a lot. He's averaging almost 18 a game, eight and a half rebounds, fourth in the conference in both scoring and rebounding. You know, he's a lot tougher physically than, than he appears, uh, you know, th than his game appears. And you know, he's, he's almost being called upon to do things that he's not, I and mean, I think he's a better player facing the basketball. Oh, no doubt. And at times with that rotation of he and Batiste, He's got to be the guy down low battling the opponent's center. 16 points, nine rebounds tonight. Transfer from Syracuse. He went to the national championship game yep. with the Orangemen early in his career. And just wasn't getting a chance to, to play as much as he wanted to play. Brad Nara checks in. Guard out of Lexington, Kentucky. Yeah. 
if Sin Q Carey plays this well for the rest of the year, Washington not only is back in the tournament, but Dave, they have a chance to make a run in the tournament. Would you say that he could carry them into the tournament? No, I would not say that. You wouldn't that. say that? No, I wouldn't. Well, I would. You, yeah, I know that, but I wouldn't. That's because, you know, you, you don't have my rapier whip. And I thank the good Lord for that every day. <laughs> House with the uh, runner, and Luton's going to the line as he's fouled by Alton Mason. A couple of things that Washington has going for them. Obviously, they're playing well right now, Dave, and I think they'll end up at at least 17, 18 wins. But you look back down their schedule at the teams that they've not only beaten, but also the teams that Bob Bender has lost to. A loss to Gonzaga. Well, Gonzaga was in the top 25 last week. A loss to Boise State. Boise State's one of the best teams in the Big West. Obviously, it doesn't help your power rating, but it doesn't hurt as much as many people thought at the time. They were blown out, obviously, by UConn. The, the Pac-10 has got obviously a good power rating, so I think if you're at 17, 18 wins and you're watching, you can feel comfortable you're going back to the uh, I, I think so. Especially if you're the top four in the Out, league. House with the miss. And Johnson the rebound. And Washington continues an incredible roll right now that has seen them win seven of eight. Five in a row. Todd McCullough. Another double-double, 22 points, 11 rebounds. Bob Bender's Huskies are 14 and seven with seven games left in the Pac-10 schedule, seven and four in conference.